Everything began with just a single coin. And it turned out to be an adventure that took Danielle and I all over the United Kingdom. We've been up to its highest reaches and down into coal mines. We found angels, sought out legends, hunted monsters, and explored prehistoric sites. And it all started exactly seven months ago today, when the UK released 26 brand new 10 pence coins, one for each letter of the alphabet. They each represent a different aspect of Britishness. For instance, the theme for D was double decker bus. And for T, you guessed it, T. And some are more specific, such as K for King Arthur's Round Table, or S for Stonehenge. But overall, the coins are just a celebration of Great Britain, what it means to be British. And just a week or two after their release, I found four in one go. R, T, U and W. Now I should probably tell you, I tend to have something of an addictive personality. When I started running, for example, I couldn't stop. I got obsessed with Tom Hanks and even named one of my kittens after him. You can't eat that Tom Hanks. I guess you could say that I don't do things half-heartedly and these coins were no exception. This little dial in my brain was suddenly turned to obsession mode. I wanted them all. I started paying for everything in cash and asked for my change entirely in 10 pence coins. And it went on like this for months. It got to the point that when I eventually did use my card, it got rejected and my bank rung me about what they called highly unusual behaviour. Ah, uh, yeah. It's kind of a long story. And like I say, several months went by like this, and by now I'd amounted quite a lot of 10 pence coins, but not a single alphabet one. Seriously, not one. I felt genuinely defeated. And then I had an idea. What if instead of collecting the physical, material coins, I collected experiences. Each of the coins represents somewhere in Britain or something British. So what if I went to those places and actually did the stuff on the coins? And in the process I could make a ton of videos about interesting things from all over the United Kingdom. So that's exactly what we did. In the end I gave up and bought the coins on eBay. But this was going to be something bigger. This was going to be a great British adventure.